Hi everyone, this is Christy Rubenstein at Diana T. Myers & Associates, and welcome to this video, which will provide you with a quick tour of the data collection survey that we'll be using for the ODFC renewal project evaluation in 2020. These surveys should be familiar for anyone who filled out the survey for the 2019 renewal project scoring. We used a data collection survey form for that as well. There are a few updates, mostly to enhance the user experience. Uh, but they're largely the same surveys. So as you see, I've already got the data collection survey open in my browser. And you can see that the first page includes some general instructions and notes, which we suggest you read. This includes the due date uh, for the submission of the survey, how to use the save and continue uh, function, and uh, also how to reach us in case you need further assistance. There's nothing you need to fill out to advance. Uh, further with this survey, you just need to click the next button. This will take you to the main page where all the information um, that we're asking you to submit is going to be collected. This is the main difference between the survey that was used last year and this year. For um, ease of use, we've got everything on one page this year. Because there were required elements, we did uh, note that people sort of got hung up in needing to fill out certain uh, answers in order to advance the survey. So to get around that, we've just basically put everything on one page this year. Uh, and you should be able to scroll through it and see what you need to fill in before um, before you even start. So hopefully you can gather all the information that you need ahead of time and then come back in and start to fill it in. And you don't need to fill in um, all of the, the data points to be able to advance to the next screen. Now I've already got a version of the survey here where I filled in most of it, uh, but I tried to submit it and I had one uh, that was blank where it shouldn't have been. And so it gave me an error message because pretty much every question on this survey is required. That's uh, indicated by the red asterisk. You're gonna uh, really have to fill in everything uh, in order to not get this kind of error message when you go to submit. Now the opening uh, section is really agency and project information. This is general information so we know what project we're dealing with and also uh, who to contact in case there are any issues with the data. The next section is the APR data section. For this, you're really gonna need to have your APR already run and handy. Uh, in case you're not sure how to run an APR, instructions are available by clicking here. That will pull up this cheat sheet uh, that shows you step-by-step uh, -step what to do. Uh, in addition, uh, you can visit the CCH website and you can always uh, visit the main CTHMIS webpage which I believe also has instructions for running your APR. Now, in, in uh, regards to this particular survey, we've also created this uh, um, handout, the APR table examples. If you click here, you're gonna get this document that's gonna show you exactly which cells that we're asking information about that you take this information and put it into the survey. And we mark off in red, obviously, these red boxes to show which uh, data points we want from the APR. So you can kind of go question by question and match up if you're not sure uh, about what we're asking you to input. And for some of the more complicated uh, tables, um, say age, right, where we're only asking for the total and for very specific age ranges, uh, this might prove to be helpful. Now you should go through and fill in the information uh, using uh, the APR that you have run. Make sure that you run the APR for the correct time period. Uh, that's calendar year 2019 and for the right project for those of you that have multiple projects. So once you're done filling all of this information in, um, you can see here, this is where I had one blank and I had my error. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill that in. We should be able to submit after that. Uh, the next section, however, is the ELOX data section. And you're gonna to wanna to fill that in again after already pulling your ELOX information. Let's say I'm filling this out and I forgot to, to pull my ELOX data uh, and I need to stop. Um, I can always use the save and continue later function to enter in my email address, click save, and then it will save a copy uh, of this and, and email me a link to it. Now, uh, 
the caveat here is that every time you add in a little bit more information and need to come back to it um, because you can't continue on for whatever reason, you'll need to fill out this little form over again because the link that you had before will only uh, show you the form, the survey that was filled in up to that point. So just be aware of that. You need to fill out that form every time you want to leave the survey if you've added more information in. So you can go ahead and fill out your ELOX information. Uh, and then the next section will be your unit count data section. And this is where we ask for uh, data, just general data on households uh, served uh, unit counts um, by HMFA and, and configuration and that kind of thing. This helps us uh, um, on make a good calculation on cost effectiveness and also on utilization. Once you've filled out all of these uh, sections, you'll be able to submit your, your survey and you can simply click the submit button. Then you'll be taken to the thank you page. Uh, and just note here that uh, you should get a confirmation email sent to you. If you don't, please reach out to us and we can make sure that you get one. Save that uh, information for your records so that you have a copy of your survey form, including the date it was submitted uh, in case there are any issues with that. Um, and then it's just gonna be a reminder that you have a couple of other forms to fill out surveys uh, in case you haven't done those yet. And that's really it. Um, Again, be sure to fill out all three surveys, and uh, there will also be video tutorials for the others as well. We hope this video is helpful for you, if you're, especially if you're new to this process. And all, as always, feel free to reach out to Pam or I at the ODFC Gmail account. We'll be monitoring that and responding to folks. Uh, and so if you need an ETA, um, please reach out, or if you have any issues with uh, the survey forms, just let us know. Thanks for watching and have a great day.